Hello everyone, welcome. Once again, we are at Parker's Lighthouse attending the Long Beach Chamber of Commerce Luncheon featuring Queen Mary Updates by Evolution Hospitality. So since um, the city um, you know, de dedicated uh, to keep the Queen open, a lot of things have been happening. Um, the first thing was the lifeboat project where they recently removed all the lifeboats but two uh, that was really weighing on the structure of the ship. And that was done last year, I believe, in, in 2021. Um, and that was the real first project to get, again, those repairs made. Uh, there are two lifeboats that, actually one lifeboat, they placed on the wharf that they're going to use uh, for photos and guest experiences. Um, that's being restored right now, currently. Um, so when we come back and the ship's open, we'll be able to have a selfie inside the lifeboat. Uh, but this was a real critical piece to, uh, to, to start with. Um, and again, that was completed last year. Um, one thing you'll be seeing probably over the next couple of weeks is some exterior painting happening. So um, the third uh, stack will get repainted. Some of the uh, uh, areas in front of the ship will get repainted. It's really an ongoing project, obviously, with the weather and all of that. But we're going to get that started, I think, in the next couple of weeks. And so we'll see that activity happening. Um, and really, uh, when we get back on the ship, uh, the main hall, which you might have all been there uh, at some point, um, a lot of updates happening with uh, lighting, flooring. Uh, we have about 60 crew members back aboard the ship. Uh, and what's exciting is these are crew members that were on the ship and when the ship closed in May of 2020. And so to have them back aboard and to see their excitement uh, to really, it's just it's just great. And they've been doing a lot of polishing and a lot of cleaning. And um, it just, it's starting to look amazing. She's, she's looking amazing uh, each and every day. Uh, and then we have our Director of Tours and Attractions, Doug Parsons, here with us today. And so a lot of what we're working on is getting all of the areas and the tours, uh, you know, a lot of, uh, of updates are being made, again, a lot of cleaning, that's been happening, and we're excited when we do announce uh, when we reopen that obviously the tours will be one of the first things. Um, and then uh, the sun deck uh, will be getting restored, uh, and of course, the railing. Uh, this is again a kind of an ongoing uh, project, but you know, a lot of this is um, it's outdoors, so it gets you know, it's exposed to the weather and the elements. And over the years, unfortunately, it's just um, not look so good, so that's going to look in tip-top shape uh, here soon when they uh, get that project going. And then this is the big one. So uh, this really has been the driver of really the opening uh, date for us is the boiler project. So um, the boilers uh, are being completely replaced and uh, they were literally 50 years old. Um, so you can imagine uh, it, it, was, it was time. And that project has started. Uh, the demolition of the old boilers is complete, and uh, we should see the installation hopefully in the next couple of weeks. Um, and uh, that provides hot water, which is really important. Um, and then, of course, just a lot of kitchen repairs are being made, um, and uh, again, um, and then one of the things that we're looking at is I think many of you who's been to the observation bar for a cocktail, right? Yeah. It's exactly. So uh, we're looking at selecting some new flooring, some new furniture for that. Um, and um, it's really one of the finest locations aboard the ship. Uh, beautiful views of Long Beach. And uh, we can't wait to have that that, that outlet open. Um, and then this is just some critical repairs. Again, you know, just want you to know, you know, there's a lot of stuff that's been happening, a lot of things that maybe are not visible if you come on board the ship now. Uh, but these are just things that are really important and critical. And we're just we're grateful to have the city's uh, partnership. Uh, and uh, you know, right now we're looking at a uh, early spring opening. And you'll be the first to know, I promise. Uh, and I'm sure we'll have at some point a, either a luncheon or a, a, a mixer back aboard the ship. So. With that, I would love to introduce Commodore, and he's going to give you a little brief overview. So, Commodore. 
question I get asked is, are you going to be charging to get on the Queen Mary? Or is it going to be packages? Is it going to be free? From free parking all the way to boarding, that seems to be the question that I get uh, a lot. Yeah, so even though we are a city asset, the money that we create is gonna go, the money that we make is gonna go back into reinvesting into the ship, which is fantastic. So there will be a tour package that you will purchase. Um, they are individual tours, so you can select what tour you'd like to take. You can add on additional tours if you like. We'll also have some other additional experiences. And then as we start growing in the ramp process that um, Jeff talked about, we will add additional attractions that will come online, additional experiences, something that we're replacing the Diana exhibit, which is no longer with us. And so as that comes on, we'll have uh, additional ticket for ticket sales. Uh, we don't know what the parking situation is as of yet. We're still working with the city on that as well. So I don't have an answer for that right there. But as far as admission to the ship, it will be required for a purchase. Um, but you'll get a tour with it as well as a lot of our free exhibits that are on board. Um, no, so if you're doing brunch, that would include your admission to the ship if you're, if you're attending brunch. Um, we are looking at possibly creating a memberships program with the city so people who are members of the primary can come on board. So if we did want to come and have a drink at the observation bar, that would be available. We're still working through that process so we don't have anything finalized. And then we are looking at creating a lunch voucher or a dining voucher as well. So you would purchase a dining voucher for like $10 or something just to let you on board. And then that $10 will be used towards Rooney or whatever restaurant you decide to dine at. But because of the historic nature that the Commodore has talked about, it is very important that we have to protect that asset. So we can't just let people roam around without making sure that they're here for a reason. And they're not just gonna kind of walk around and you know, ghost hunt, which is that's an important part of our history, but it's, we don't want people disturbing our hotel guests late at night running around the ship. So we want to make sure that we control who's on board and why they're here.